So jumping today. Yep. All right, drop it in. Yeah, yeah get it. <laughs> okay. Well, hey. on the first on the first one, you're leaning back significantly. I don't know if, if, that's, okay. if that's nervousness. All right, I'll drop in again. So lean, don't lean back so much. <laughs> Okay, so for these jumps, right, um, you do not need or want that full extension pop that you get yeah. when you stand all the way up with your hips. Yeah. Um, just stay hand, stay hand the whole way. Yeah. And, and, it's, and imagine there's just two huge rollers whose yeah. tops were cut off, right? Okay. And, and, and don't really, like, like, your pumping technique is solid, dude. Like, I saw it last yeah. time. So just um, – pump hard yeah. like a lot of arm and a lot of leg and um like, like like carry that row all the way until both wheels leave the ground okay i'll put you up and then when you once you leave the ground then do your anti-row okay but jumping should be really the same as pump oh that's already better there it is. keep your hips back in a hinge okay there you go. There you go. That first one, you're getting more loft, huh? Yeah, I'm going to get a lift a bit steeper. So, oh, it's a steeper lift. Okay, that's good. Yeah, at least it feels that way. What, what happened? What will happen if you try to bunny hop yeah. from the top of the lip to the middle of the landing? Yeah. Not... Listen, not the target is not the edge of the landing. The, the target is the middle of the landing. Mm -hmm. Okay? Like, like, like send yourself all the way there and let's see what happens. On the second one, you're breaking form a lot. Like you'll see in the video, your hips are really, you're coming out of your hinge in a very big way. Um, okay, how about like as, in, as in I'm squatting or as I'm... Yeah, it's a squat, right? Yeah, your hips are popping yeah. forward, knees and hips. So stay in a hinge pattern. Okay. Um, and then what we'll do, like, we'll focus on the first one right now. And once yeah. the first one is good, I think the second one will start to take care of itself. Like, the mechanics of jumping are simple. It's just like pumping. But the psychology of jumping is very different, right? Yeah. So just get, we'll get enough laps into the point where your lizard's like, oh, okay, I'm cool. And then we'll be able to start laying in some proper power, right? Okay. Ooh, there it is. On the second one, Chris, I, I'm just going to be your friend and say that I really don't like the way you're doing the second one at all. Okay. Yeah. And it's a bad habit. So just roll it. Don't, don't do anything with okay. it. Just, just focus all your Kung Fu on that first one and then roll okay. this. All right. So let's imagine you're going to do like, let's say a 36 inch box jump, right? Like a pretty big one, you know? Yeah. And I know you can do it. Like, I'm, I'm sure you can. Um, I'd put my head through the ceiling if I, in my, my basement gym, if I did a 36 inch box jump. <laughs> oh, would you? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I have a low ceiling, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so, but imagine how hard you'd be pushing with your hips and legs. Like how hard would yeah. you have to push? Like, what would that feel like? Yeah, it would be push hard. It's pretty freaking powerful, right? And yeah. so like one thing that's cool about jumping versus hopping on flat ground is that the, the shapes kind of create that pressure for you. So it's not nearly yeah. as hard. But the fact mm -hmm. is, I mean, just simply put, right? If you want to like hurl your body three feet into the air, Let's just say you need three units of heaviness. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like three units of heaviness equals three units of lightness. Let's just throw that out, yeah. right? Okay. Maybe you're right now on the bike. I'm watching you. Maybe you're giving it like three quarters of a unit of heaviness. Okay. Maybe. So then you're going to really extend into the lip, like, you know, like properly. Like I know you're a powerful guy. And then you're going to retract in the air. So when you pass through apogee, the top of the flight, you're in your lowest hinge. Right now, you'll see 
that you're flying with your landing gear down, which is a big mm-hmm. part of why you're clipping the landing. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah, basically bring the bike up into me, push harder than suck it up. Yeah. Yeah. And, and have that be cyclical. Like, like the push and the pull are the same movement, the same cycle. Right. Okay. That's enough of that. Yeah. Okay. Good man. So check it out. Right. Here's the top of that roller. Right. It looks from here that there's just like a nice radius from the roller to the jump, correct? Yeah. Okay, cool. So here's the top of the roller, right? And here's the, the top of that lip. And this is important and kind of awesome. The lip doesn't start, the, the, the row does not start here. It starts exactly right here. Uh-huh. So, so the entire shape, okay, from the back of the roller through the lip, is one trough. So basically like pump the absolute heck out of that roller, like just as much power as you can, okay? Hook it, they'll call that hooking in BMX. Get on the back of that thing. And then you're gonna do one long row all the way through. And the radius is gonna tighten up as you get to the lip. So the timing of the roller will kind of feel and sound like this. It'll be like slow, fast, or brr, up, right? You'll be like brr, boom, and that'll pop you in the air. That makes sense? Yeah. Okay. All right. One reason most great jumps have a little setup roller is this, and also why jump lines are built like in sequence. So once you get a landing, that landing actually becomes the next takeoff. I, I'm gonna, let's do this for right now. Um, ultimately, when the technique is more there, um, that's gonna be enough speed. But for yeah. right now, let's go like a lot faster. So go, go let's say 20% faster and pump the hell out of it, man. Like, like the, a lot of what I see right now is just um, inhibitory tension inside your body. <laughs> ah, you got the second one pretty good. The two levers you have for jumping are speed and, and, and that rowing power or timing, you know? Those are the two levers. Um, okay, so uh, we're rehearsing. You're gonna go, you're gonna get some speed. Okay, like there's that roller that comes down off the back of the berm there, like the setup one, right? Yeah, yeah. Check it out. You're gonna haul ass at that thing. You're gonna hop the bike into the back of it, okay? And then you're gonna hop from the back of that ramp and freaking skip the front of that setup roller and smash into the back of it and then carry all that pressure through the lip of the jump, bloof, and explode into the air. It's gonna be like a double cycle, okay? Like just okay. build, 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 build. Uh-huh. That's, the closest that's, that's the closest I've seen you get, right? Just to overcome that tension or passiveness, right? Or that apprehension, just go crazy, dude. Like. Like it's, it's going to start at that setup, like ramp by the berm where it all starts, right? Come into that thing with full aggression and carry that all the way through. When you get in the air, pick up your feet. I bet right. you a nickel that on the last pass, if you would have like in the air, brought your feet up and pushed the bars down, I bet the bike would have made the jump. Yes. Ha! I knew it. How about that, Chris? Yeah, I got you. Both of them come to clear it today. All right. That's cool. So uh, I, I just could tell from your aggression, as soon as you dropped in, that that was going to be a good one. Yeah. But carry that aggression. Now, when you come off that lip, brother, right? When you're like, as you come to the end of the lip, you're going to oppose your glutes and your lats. Elbows to the hips, yeah. just snap, like pop. And you're gonna go up. There it is. Yeah, dude. More speed and more pop and more retraction. Okay. Okay. 
All right, bro. I think you're ready. So remember, like you're gonna get some good pebbles. Yeah. So wherever you are right now, I want you to look to like after the second jump, I think there's probably a turn, right? To the left, yeah. right? Yeah. Look to that turn, right? And be like, I'm going to that turn. And whatever happens between here and that turn is gonna happen. It's inconsequential. Mm -hmm. I have it. It's all about setting that turn up. And I want you to haul ass and go crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the one. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Nice. That was a lot better. That was good, yeah. So that thing with looking all the way, it's like a hack to try to get your conscious mind out of that jump, right? Like look softly to the turn, tell yourself, I'm going to that turn. Whatever happens between here and there is fine. I have it. And then I want you to like apply a lot of voltage to this thing, like, ah. And while you're in it, if you can, focus on bringing your feet very close to you in the air. Okay. And if you do that, I bet you a nickel, and, and if you do an anti-row, right? Feet up, hands down, yep. I bet you clear it. So I got this trick from my buddy, Alex, actually. He, he, he got me thinking in this way, like, Look to a point three feet above the middle of the jump. Can you visualize that? Yeah. Like there's, there's a spot in the air, right? Like imagine like a limbo bar or like a piece of ribbon or something across that point and actually like get above that, like go, go over it. Like see, see if that helps your, your intention. So again, like, like technically, you know what to do, right? Yep. I know you know, but it's, it, this is lizard brain shit. So, so we're gonna hack your way through that. Um, look beyond the jumps into the future, right? Um, intend, like we know you're gonna get to the landing safely. Like that's a yep. fact. I want you to intend on going up, pop, okay. right? And really retract your feet. And then let's see how we go here. This is it. A little unbalanced in the air on that one, so I didn't lift up as much. Yeah, it looked like you got maybe a little passive on that row. Yeah, yeah. Seem like so. Like this is gonna be hard to do because you've been riding bikes for a while at a pretty high level. Like, like what you've been. Okay, check this out. Like, if you want to catch air, like get max mm -hmm. air, you're gonna row all the way until your rear wheel leaves the ground. And as you leave, as your rear wheel leaves the ground, you're gonna finish with a pop, like a rowing yeah. pop out of your hips and your and your and your and your lats. Boom. And that's gonna lever the bike up, right? Uh -huh. it, as you know, also if you don't want to catch air, you're gonna row earlier and probably harder. Uh -huh. And then as soon as the front tire peaks over the top, you're gonna go into an anti-row and like fire the bike forward. And BMX that's called pushing through. So like those would be like the two ends of the spectrum, right? Like full boost, full squash. Uh, yeah. Most of us who've been riding a while, like we, we have a deep seated squash instinct and you, you yeah. clearly have that. Like there's no mm -hmm. doubt. And that's fine. Cause that is a technique. There's nothing wrong with it. Like we use it most of the time. So yeah. we just have to teach you to protract, to, to extend that row and like, don't finish the row until you're in the air. All right. That second one looked pretty good. All right. So, so then, like, there's nothing wrong or unsafe. Otherwise, I'd be fussing at you about that. You know that. Yeah. This is about um, your nervous system, dude. It's about mm -hmm. it's, this is electrical, right? Um, and part of it's confidence, and part of it's just like like teaching yourself how to how to fire. No, you already know how to do it because I know you can hop pretty high. So it's just like yeah. plugging that hopping power and that retraction into a jump. Yeah. And and then we're just gonna like it's gonna take as many reps as it takes, dude. Because it's yeah. subconscious, right? Yeah. Go so dude, like for real, attack this thing. Like yeah. you cannot be subtle, it'll never work. You can't be like, oh, let's see what happens. No, you have to fucking attack it. Mm -hmm. ah.
Guess what? Better? What do you think? So smooth. I still felt like they low, but I think I, 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 I was smooth. Like I wasn't as high as I wanted. I was thinking of going. I thought it was really good. And you barely cased the back tire on the landing. Yeah. Only because your feet went down too early. Okay. If you do exactly the same thing, but keep your feet up, you're going to catch perfect backside. Okay. And here to say that when that happens, carry that pump all the way through. And I bet you get the second one nice too. Yeah. Right? Like we are right on the line. It's, it's happening right now, right? So it's all waves, you know that. So yeah. let's get way more pop off the top of the yeah. lip. A lot more, like four times more. Did you hear that? Yeah, four, four times more. more. You're, you're not using a quarter of your strength, yeah. not even, not even close. Yeah. And then when you're in the air, what do you, what should you do? Lift my feet up. Yes, and at the same time, do what with your hands? Anti-row. Yes. It's a cycle, and when you get it, it's going to be the easiest rep you've done in your okay. life. Yeah. Let's do something kind of silly. Get uh, Set your bike down and go walk over to the jump, please. Yeah. Okay, and then kind of get like, um, maybe stand opposite me on the other side of the jump. So then like, okay, so look at the landing, like see the angle of the landing? Yeah. Okay, so like in a perfect world, you don't actually like land on the landing, right? Yeah. What we do is like, let's say that thing is like 30 degrees pointing upward at you right now, yeah. see that? Draw a line backward from that. Like imagine a perfect arc from that yeah. line to the takeoff. Right. So then you have like, let's say a 30 degree takeoff and a 30 degree landing, something like that. That's standard for a beginning jump. So like, yeah, like you said, you just did it with your hands. Do it again with your hands. Like, 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 like draw out that arc. Yeah. Right. There's like a perfect arc and it's on that jump. It's not very high. Right, like on a dirt jump with steeper lips, the the yeah. arc is higher. This is this is built to be done fast and pretty yeah. low. Okay, so like visualize and feel in your belly that arc, right? And then go back, right. get angry, attack, go pretty freaking fast and make that arc. Yeah. Okay. Boom. That was your smoothest one, Chris. Yeah, that by far felt like the best one. Do another one. Yeah, yeah, get it. There we go. Oh, dude. It just happened, didn't it? Yeah, maybe a slight touch, but. I'm going to say this now that it's finished. When you came in, I was like, oh, he's not going as fast. Oh man, oh well. But you pumped it better and you got it. And there's a lesson there, sir. It's speeds, some speed's important. Yeah, of course. But the lever that we control the most yeah. is that pumping lever, that pump. Yeah. Get recovery, visualize that arc of, of love power, that angel, uh, I mean, that rainbow of, of Kung Fu power. Yeah. Uh -huh. And um, give her, brother, give her. All right. She's Canadian, right? Give her. Yeah, just give her, give her a. Give her a. It was smooth. Oh, yeah, you didn't, it looked like maybe you were a little bit too far back or you didn't pull enough with your arm, yeah. something in that zone. There he is. Dude, that was a good rep. Yeah, it's just retraction of the feet, man. Like again, uh -huh. visualize that box okay. jump, right? When you, you know, when you land and your like feet are like almost higher than your butt, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, 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 like get that feel, right? Okay. Well, this is good. I'm stoked. Oh, good. I'll do one more run here. Yeah, get it. Holy dude, you just did it. Yeah, I got more uh, off than usual. And I, thought I had that little twinge of. Here. That's cool, I man. Did it. 
Yeah, you had your little yeah. Chris double pump. That could be part of your style. Nothing wrong with that at all. You did it. So I, I saw three good ones, right? Like three solid ones at the end there. Yeah. It's been good. I got to, I got to go to feel and some solid feedback. So I know kind of I can come back here or find when I see other, if there's any other jumps I can find at times and work on work on on that and start adding it into the repertoire so i'm not sketched out on trail it's good man you know yeah be gradual like this is a good one because it's kind of like you have it but it's not like yours yet rep rep yeah. rep 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 and then of course then when you land like and what's cool is like like if this is the landing of the first one and this is the take yeah. off of the second one it's a perfect bowl dude yeah. And so when you land, you're going to be in it. You're going to be in like this incredibly hinged yeah. way back there position. And you're going to like row and get that second one. So nice, man. Yeah. Well, if you can yeah. get some more reps in today before you go. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do a little bit here and then uh, I got to get some work done at home and go yeah. get back in and all that fun. Oh, good. Good for you, man. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, we'll take care. Okay. Way, yeah. All right. You too. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah.